Hello. Today I am going to discuss with you about how you can pursue your career into IT. So at first I am going to tell you something about the IT categories which we can see in all over the world also in India. So at first I can give you some example about it and then we can dig into it every part of it. Okay. So for me the IT categories would be in four categories actually. So first one is software development and second one is web development, third one is app development and fourth one is BPO or tech support. Okay. Next week we are going to learn what is software development and actually what is needed for software development and the basic examples of software development. So examples of software development you can see everything you are working with current days is something based of some software like I am I am writing this whole project in PowerPoint it is basically a Windows software which is running in Windows platform if you are running some bikes or we are riding some cars we can see the meter box and the speedometer this kind of thing is actually running by one backend software in it. If you see the medical industries have many kind of equipment like x-ray, uh, like heartbeat checker and everything. The main thing is that behind of every instrument they are using is running by any software. Okay. Which is relevant to it. Okay. So next, we need to know what kind of things or what kind of skill actually we need to have to become a software developer. And before that, we are going to discuss what is web development and then we can also going to learn what is app development so the basic example of web development is any kind of site we have found in internet like if for example we can take google.com amazon.com this is a basic example of websites so whatever the sites you are currently browsing from your any kind of browser that is a basic example of web development for app development you can take any apps that is running on Android, iOS, Windows, Symbian, any kind of OS. That is an example of app development. So currently we are in that stage. We know what is the main part of the IT. One is software, web development, one is app development. I'm not going to tell you about the BPO and tech support kind of things uh, because I am not capable of giving you this kind of information because I am not from that part so I am skipping that one okay so now if we are going to see what are the basic things or skill set we need to know before becoming a software developer so basic thing for me Everybody should learn any of this language which we can see here. First one is C programming language, which is a mother language of all. Okay. If you want to know C language in very depth, you can you, you are capable of learning any 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 programming language, whatever it is new, it is very old, whatever it is. Because C is the mother language of all and everything is based on C. Whether this is a software, whether that is a web browser, whether you are running any application, whether you are browsing some data, everything is based on C. Because this is a mother language and from that we are building new platform like C++, Java, Python, ASP.NET, everything. Everything is based on C. Because they took the concept from the C and they start adding more features into it and that become a new language. 
So what C++? It is another language which is an extended part of C and the most common example of C++ is our Windows OS. Microsoft OS and uh, Google Chrome browser, whatever we are running, mostly based on C++. Okay. Next, coming to the Java. Java is a huge language, which is actually object-oriented based language. If we are going to give the example of Java application, then it will be some billion of software running in Java. Okay. Python is another common language which is well known. ASP.NET, it is also a major and common language. Okay. And apart from this, we also have many other languages which we can learn to build any kind of software. Okay. Next, coming to the next model, what is web development? Basic skills we need to. So for that, we need to know any of this language, whether it can be PHP, whether it can be Python, whether it can be ASP.NET, whether it can be Java. For this one, you can see I write two things in bracket of Java. This is Spring and Hibernate, which is different from the last time we discussed about Java. So this is another model of Java that we can learn to create a website. Okay, and apart from this one, also there are many languages. So we need to know any of them, at least any of them, to become a web developer. Okay, for app development, what we need to do? First one is Android. If we are running a code application, we start building a code application in Android. We need to know Android, which is actually based on Java. So if you know Java very good or you are capable of building a new blocks and elements in Java, so Android is a query, then it will be very easy for you. Okay. Now coming to the next part, Swift. This is a iOS based language which is which is used to build the application in iOS platform for the Apple phones and Apple Apple MacBook, it's like this kind of things. Next thing we can we can learn is Angular, React, Node, Vue, Ionic. These four and five things and many more these kind of things are actually actually needed for hybrid app. So next another part we need to know about what is hybrid app. Hybrid app is something that it there there will be one code block. Or you can say it very easily that uh, I will run, I will create a one code and that will be run for both Android and iOS and for Windows. Same code will be run for iOS, Android and Windows. That is called hybrid app. That can be done based on Angular, React, Node, View, ID. So, if we are going to learn Android, then that that application, what we are going to build by Android, is only can be handled by Android OS, nothing else. Okay, it cannot be run in any kind of Windows platform or iOS platform. If we are going to learn Swift, then it is all only be run in iOS, not in Android, neither in Windows. So, if you are as a newcomer now, you are going to think that how can one language can be run in various platform and then it should be much bigger and and uh, next to impossible task for me to learn. But but the thing is, the Angular React Node view this kind of things are basically simpler than Android or Swift or Java or PHP or any kind of programming language. This is the main part of it. We will learn about it more later. So next, we are going to categorize website application into two parts. One is, one is front-end development and another one is back-end development. So what is front-end development? This is actually the view part 
like if we are going to see this website this, this suppose we are in google.com okay so what we can see currently is a web page there is a search box there is a logo there is a google search i'm feeling lucky and everything is so this front end view what what we can see currently in browser this is a task for front end developer how it is built it is built by html css and javascript if you are going to search it anything like ios language then the data comes we have just added some text in the search box and hit enter and some data is fetched and coming up in the browser how the data fetching is working this is a part of web development this is not a front end development this is a back end development okay so this is a um, simplest way to categorize this kind of things what is back end what is front end so what kind of things we need to learn for the front end development first of all we need to learn html we, we need to have a knowledge of html without it we cannot get in the next part next one is css it is for the styling part we need to learn it css because um, without css the page will look ugly and uh, you don't want to see it if you are if you are the one who is not liking your application or your web page then no one will going to like it so you need to learn something bit of css and a major thing another major thing comes up it's a javascript so what is javascript javascript is a language we can interact with user ui and uh, it is a framework to interact with html and css and doing many kind of things like the um, like any kind of animation any kind of slider kind of things any drop down is moving from slide down from slide up and this kind of things can be done by javascript what is jquery jquery is the extended version of javascript it is it is basically based on the javascript library currently nowadays everyone is using jquery okay so the syntax is much easier to learn and i am going to tell you that you you need to know actually the jquery because it is commonly used nowadays and actually the syntax is very easy so you can learn it very easily next coming up the next part is angular it is also based on javascript but the syntax is different from jquery and javascript also if you have a good knowledge in jquery then you can easily learn angular next view react node is angular view react and node everything is based on the typescript which is basically a jquery and javascript extended version so if you have a good knowledge in javascript or jquery you can easily grab this kind of things so what the main difference of jquery and and this th these three four things angular view react and what is the main difference between them if if you if think one thing like if you are in a, any kind of website like like if i am going to have a amazon.com and we are going to have a next we are going to click fire tv stick whatever this is you can see the page is actually reloaded okay this is because this is a basic html css and javascript work which is interacting with user with the page reload and sending data to the server about the page url if 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 you are going to change this url then the data will be changed okay but in case of angular view and react the date the url is never going to change common example of it if you are using uh, gmail.com then you can see if 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 i am opening the gmail.com and suppose one mail comes from another sender 
you you never see the page is actually reloaded you will just see the new mail at the top of the mailbox because it is done by this kind of fun this kind of programming language okay so everything is working without page reload react is done by facebook and one common example is the facebook chat box notification panel this kind of things are done by react you can see the if someone tag you in a in their photos or any kind of post the notification comes in the notification panel but the page didn't reload if you are going to use same thing by html css and javascript or any other programming language we need to refresh the page and get the data again okay so this is a major difference between normal javascript jquery and this kind of framework like angular view and react and what is known node is the extended version of server side implementation so what is server side implementation this kind of javascript jquery cannot push data into database like if we if i am going to create a new user in amazon.com what we are going to do we are going to enter my name mobile number email and uh, any other field who is they are asking and click the submit button so what is the back end process of it the data is coming from the form and sending to the server and there is some kind of language there they are fetching the data over there and store the data in the database okay javascript jquery or html css doesn't have that capabilities neither angular view and react they cannot push the data into the database but they can send the data in the database actually see html css is only for the front end building so we we'll leave this part so we are now talking about javascript jquery angular and view react okay this five things cannot push the data into the database okay because they are not going to interact with database or the server side they can only interact with the client side that means this part what we are doing like we are, we are currently over the image this is done by the javascript jquery or it can be done by angular view react any kind of things and if we are going to press buy now the data will be sent to the server by this kind of framework but data cannot be stored there without having any kind of programming language which can interact with the server side node have the capability of doing that but it is also similar kind of language like this one so node has some best capabilities to work with server side as well so kindly i i would suggest you to focus on this kind of framework because this is a kind of new framework like they are coming in the last 2 3 and 4 years and uh, most of the things are what most of those things are running by this kind of thing this kind of framework like for example for react is uh, you can say the facebook is running with the react view angular and gmail uh, gmail is also running with that if we are going to say the node example then the best example will be uber uh, paypal netflix amazon prime everything is done by the node because it has a large scale of capabilities to send data very fast and cache the data and store it to a database okay so now i am going to give you a goal that what you can learn and how you can learn so for basic whatever the language or whatever the technologies and whatever the development you are going to focus with either it is be software development either it, it can be a web development either it can be app development you need to know html css and javascript because this is a basic thing because everything has a front end view and you need to know that for that i am going to give you 15 days 15 days task so how i can new this kind of things this kind of things are available in google
and uh, there are many 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 tutorials about it uh, if you are going to purchase any video or tutorial you can go to the udemy.com If you are going to learn by yourself, that I should suggest you before going to purchase any videos, just go to the wcschools.com. Okay, you can have the every tutorial of it. Like you can learn HTML, CSS, you can learn JavaScript, you can learn PHP. No, there is no PHP. Sorry, there is PHP. Yeah, but there is PHP. I uh, will give you the link of the PHP as well because they have the option. So at first you need to know the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, the basic one, not the very deep one, but at least the basic one. How you can do it? Okay. So you can set your goal that 15 days I will learn HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, very basic. Okay. Not the best to best example I can give you. For now, but uh, I can give you one or two video example after this course as well about the Udemy videos, which you can buy from your end. Okay. So now, next thing you, you should learn any kind of programming language, but there is a difference if, of learning. Like, if you are going to learn very easily, or now you have the two or three months, and you are focusing on coming to the new platform in IT, then I would suggest you to learn PHP, very basic PHP. Like, how I can insert data, how I can create table, how I can fetch data, how I can delete data, how I can add extra data. This kind of basic things you should learn about the PHP because it is very simple and it is the most easiest language to learn apart from the other language like the C, C++, Java, Python, etc. Then you can start thinking about Angular, React, or Vue. Any, any, any of this. I would suggest you to do Angular because there are many jobs in Angular nowadays because it is the most common framework. Uh, nowadays, because it is actually developed by Google, okay, so it has a more community backup, and you have a more than one lakh of jobs in India for the Angular. Okay, so you can learn it. Uh, again, I will tell you how to learn it after finishing your course of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. But before that, I'm again giving you the another option that what you are going to do with your career. If you want to start building your career as a backend developer, then you should learn HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and then PHP, and then you can start focusing about Node and MongoDB. Why I am going to tell you that? Because if you are thinking about the backend development, that means the server-side development, which is actually the data interaction from the user, then you should have knowledge about any of the programming language that I am suggesting you the PHP because that is very easy. And next, you can start building your career with the Node and Mongo. MongoDB is a database that is apart from the preliminary database of SQL. So, Node and Mongo have a very big scale of industries in India and, and the whole over the world. And the package is really good. Really good for newcomer as well. So if, if you're going to start building your career into that part, you can do these kind of things. But if you're thinking about the, I am starting, I want to start my career as an IT professional and I need the job in next two or three months, then I should learn HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and then I can jump into Angular, Vue, or React, any kind of this platform. Because after that, you will get a good job and a very good salary scale for a very beginner. Then you can start thinking about your career and 
start thinking about learning many more things of the back end as well but if you are thinking that i am i will i want to stick with the back end development because i don't want to interact with the front end i don't need that much of work then if you learn html css and javascript very basic and then start going to the php if you are not thinking about that you are want to stick with the front end kind of things then i would suggest you to skip the php part and go to the next part of angular with and view so let me know what you are thinking thanks for watching